So you want to knit a pair of socks, but you're not sure about the right sock yarn for your socks? I went to the source, Other Knitters, and asked them about their favorite sock yarns. Those yarns that stand the test of time and won't wear out after one or two uses. So you'll know which yarns you should look at for your next pair of socks. Hey Nerdy Knitter, Tanya here. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a master hand knitter. And my goal is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. And sometimes that comes down to choosing the right yarn for the right project. And in this case, we're talking about sock yarns and the right sock yarns for your next pair of socks. So they don't wear out really fast. And I recently left a message on the community tab here on the YouTube channel asking about your favorite sock yarns and you left a lot of great comments. And I also went through an old video that I had posted, I think a couple years ago about sock yarns that were very budget friendly. I think less than $12 a skein. I'll put a link down below for that video if you wanna check it out after you watch this one. But I checked the comments there as well to see if there were any other recommendations and I collected all of those comments. So we're gonna look at all of those yarns today. I've got my laptop open so we can sort of just look them all up together and look at those skeins of yarn. And I've divided them up into a few categories. We've got those big box yarns that you can find at Michael's or Walmart or any other big chain store, a craft store. And then one online source that has some really great sock yarns. Um, and then the ones that you can find at your local yarn shops. I've got my laptop open here so we can go take a look at these yarns. Let's start with the ones that are at the big box store. First on this list is one that comes highly recommended by quite a few people and I've used this one so I can weigh in on this as well and it's one that I really like when I'm looking for yarns that are very budget friendly then your big box store is going to have great prices and you can definitely knit a pair of socks for less than ten dollars when you look at the, the yarns at your local big box store. And the first on this list is Peyton's Croy. So here's the Peyton's yarn on Yarnspirations. Of course you can buy this online, but you can probably find it locally as well. It comes in a lot of different colors. You can see the colors here. Some of them are out of stock. Solid colors, and then there's also self-striping yarns. And then there's some sort of like faux fair isle yarns as well. So there's lots of great color choices in there and um, I'm on a Canadian website of course so my price here is in Canadian dollars but still if I had to buy two skeins I could still knit a pair of socks for about $20 which is really good now this one does come in a 50 gram size so you can probably squeeze a pair of shorty socks out of 50 grams of yarn even my size nine and a half foot can get a pair of shorties out of one ball of yarn but if you have larger foot or if you want to knit a longer leg, then you'll probably want to grab two skeins of yarn. This one, the fiber content is 75% washable wool, 25% nylon. So super wash yarn, but because it's not telling us the specific type of wool, we can assume it's a more durable yarn because if it's a merino or something super soft it's going to say that on the label and because it doesn't it probably means that it's a more durable fiber which is really great when it comes to socks that are going to last so this is also a machine wash and dry so easy to care for it is a four ply yarn so we know it's got the nice plies and it's got a good twist which is also important for durable socks so this is a great choice for budget-friendly socks and you wanna just go to your local store and grab some sock yarn right away and not have to wait for shipping and having it come to your house, then this is a really great choice. Now, another great store option is Michael's. Their store brand, Loops and Threads, has a sock yarn called Perfect Pair. Now, we are gonna take a look at it here, but I'm finding here that it's not in stock. I don't know if that's just like a stock issue right now or if it's something they're going to be discontinuing but if it's local to your area and you can look there at uh, your local michaels then it's worth checking out and this is also a great option for those who don't want wool socks because this one is an acrylic yarn so let's take a look at the perfect pair yarn by loops and threads on michaels and of course the price is going to be different depending on where you are and it only has the one skein on here and it looks like it's a faux fair isle type yarn if you look at the little picture on the label there but it's worth checking out if you can find this locally three dollars each right now on clearance so that's a really great price for sock yarn let's go look at the details down here so this one is 
23% viscose from bamboo, 7% polyester, 70% acrylic. So it's got the stretch that you need. And of course, it's not a wool yarn. So it is going to be perfect for those who want something that is not wool based. And that a, a full acrylic can be not great on the feet because it sort of it absorbs moisture but it doesn't sort of wick it away from your feet so you can start to feel sweaty so that's probably why they have this bamboo to make it more breathable plant fibers are great for breathable yarns they're not great for elasticity so we've got that blend acrylic is much more elastic polyester is very elastic so we've got a great blend here and this one is a hundred grams so you can knit a full pair of socks unless you've got really big feet then you can get a pair of socks out of one skein so if this is on clearance where you're at and michael's usually has coupons and things like that you can really knit a very cheap pair of socks from michael's their loops and threads yarn now i've never seen their yarn close up so i'm not sure about the ply count or how high the twist is but from looking at the close up of the yarn it looks like it's got a really good twist so I would think it's going to be at least three plies of yarn, maybe four, and it's got a good twist to it. So I would say give this one a try. It's definitely worth it for that price. Now, another store specific brand is the Hobby Lobby Cozy Toes, and this one is also another acrylic brand. We don't have Hobby Lobby here in Canada, but if that's something that you want to check out, then let's go take a look at Cozy Toes from Hobby Lobby. Now, I know they have different colors. If you go and look, you can find lots of different colors, but you can see this color here. It's got some blue and some yellow, so it's some sort of a striping type of yarn. Now, the fiber content is 93% acrylic and 7% polyester, so I'm not sure how breathable these will be because acrylic is not that breathable. The uh, polyester is going to add extra elasticity to it, though, so it's a great choice if you want to give this one a try. It's super great price. I don't know what their regular price is, but I know they have coupons a lot as well if you wanted to check that one out. Let me see um, about the yardage okay so we've got 1.75 ounces 210 yards so this is probably like a 50 gram skein so you could get a pair of shorty socks maybe or if you want full size socks then definitely two skeins machine washable so it's another option to check out color wise you can come and look on the website to see what different colors they have or go to your local hobby lobby and see what they have available now ply and twist, if we try to get a close up look of this, it does look like it has a very high twist. So that's probably three or four. I would say maybe a four ply with all of those twists in there, but you can check that locally as well. You can grab a skein and really get a close up look because that's one of the things to look for in a good yarn is the ply and the twist. You want a sock yarn that's gonna be durable and three, four more, three or four plies or even more and t twisted tightly together is going to give you a more durable yarn. Now we discussed sock yarns in a past episode of our knit and chat, our monthly knit and chat. I'll put a link down below for that as well. And we talk about the different things you can look for in a good sock yarn and also some of the things you can do to make sure that your socks will last as well like knitting at a tighter gauge, um, looking for yarns that have a high twist and multiple plies because that makes them more durable. So uh, you'll find a link down below for that. And that takes care of our big box store options. If you know of another yarn that you can find at your local big box stores, like your Walmarts and your Michaels, other big craft stores, then be sure to leave a comment and share those with us. So we're gonna take a look at our next source, which is what I call like the in-between. It's not like you're, you're not gonna find it at your local yarn shop, you have to buy it online, but it's really a great price a lot of the time. And that would be Knit Picks. They have a lot of different sock yarns. I feel like Knit Picks is sort of the gateway to your more expensive or more exclusive yarns. Like I, I know I started shopping at, at my local Michaels and buying yarn there. And then I quickly found Knit Picks and started buying yarn there as well. And their prices are really great. And you can get some, some of those tonals, those hand dyed special yarns and they're for really good prices. So we're gonna take a look at Knit Picks next. So let's start with Knit Picks Stroll, which is their fabulous sock yarn that comes in so many colors. If you scroll down here and look, 
there are just a ton of colors. So, and for really great prices, their normal price it right now is $5.99, but you can see they're having another big sale right now. So this is great for stocking up. Now this one is a soft wool. If we look at the fiber content here, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. So this one is on that softer side. Of course, there are things we can do to make sure our yarn, our socks are going to be durable, um, even with a nice soft yarn like a merino. So like knitting at a tighter gauge or find a yarn that has a good twist and ply. And Knit Picks is one of those yarns. I don't know if we can get a close-up look at the fibers here. It doesn't look like it. But I have some on my shelf, and I know I think it's a four-ply, and it does have a fairly good twist. It's not super high twist, but it is pretty good. Now, the con with Stroll is it can be a bit splitty. If your needles, sometimes, I'll try to use sharp needles, sharp tips when I'm knitting with uh, Knit Pick Stroll, but sometimes... I use other needles that aren't quite as sharp and I notice that the yarn does have a tendency to split, but it can be worth checking out. Just, I mean, if you're ordering from Knit Picks, pick up a skein. I mean, it's six bucks. You can try a skein of yarn to, to see how you like it. You might like it just fine. And I do, I love it for like, um, when I need lots of different colors or to find a sock pattern that uses, you know, like patterns or uh, Fair Isle or something like that that has lots of different colors. And this is a great choice. So it is 50 gram skeins, 231 yards. So with 50 grams, you can estimate that that's gonna be a pair of shorty socks. You're gonna need two skeins for a pair of socks, but even at that with their full price for $12, that's a really great price for hand knit socks. And they also have lots of other sock yarns that are even better. Stroll is sort of like that gateway sock yarn. And then you start looking at some of their others like Felici, which is a self-striping yarn. Now this one is also a superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, but I don't think it's as splitty as Stroll. I think the twist is slightly twistier. <laughs> I'm not sure how to, it's a higher twist is what I was saying. I think it's also a four ply, which is good. And that higher twist makes them more durable. And it comes in all of these really fun self-striping colors that you can see down here. And they're always introducing new colors and then switching to other colors. So you just have to keep an eye out for them. Oh, I really like that one. Lots of pinks. So this is really great if you wanted to give self-striping yarns a try. Still a really great price. This is also that 218 yards, 50 gram skein. But there's also more that you can find for sock yarns at Knit Picks. So if you just go and look at, go and scroll through the different fingering weight yarns, you'll find lots of yarns. Look for the ones that have nylon added to them and they're probably good for socks. One that is worth checking out is Hawthorne. And if I just do a search here for Hawthorne, you can see, well, all of the different bear yarns you could dye your own, which is also fun. But then you get all of these really fun colors. Now, this is where I feel like Knit Picks is sort of that gateway to hand dyed yarns because we've got the kettle dye and the speckled and the tonals and the multi colors, like all of the things that you find in hand dyed yarns, but at a lower price point so you can give them a try and see if you like these types of yarn before you really splash out on expensive hand dyed yarns. I really like their, their kettle dye yarns. I think that's what I used for the sweater that I'm wearing. Yes, I have, I used Daphne as one of the colors in here. And I wanna say that the brighter orange is also a Hawthorne, I'm not quite sure, but it is a really great yarn. Now this one is 80% fine superwash Highland wool, 20% nylon. And I'm pretty sure that these for socks, the Highland wool is, I mean, I'd have to really sit down and look at the fiber itself, but it's more sturdy than a Merino. Definitely, yes, a Highland wool would be. Um, and it does have that nice tight twist. I think it's a three ply, maybe a four. I'm not sure about the ply count but it would be appropriate for socks and this one comes in a hundred gram skein 357 yards so that's plenty for a pair of socks and it is a higher price point but when you're getting into these like hand dyed style yarns then the price is going to go up because it's I mean of course it's smaller batches they can't just you know do this giant skeins of yarn that they do in one color the hand dyeing techniques are more personalized so 
each skein is individual. But it is definitely worth checking out. I know that Hawthorne gets lots of great reviews from other knitters. Now our next group of sock yarns are all those yarns that you will find at your local yarn shop. And I haven't used any of these, but they all come highly recommended from other knitters. So let's take a look. First on the list is the West Yorkshire Spinners. And this one was mentioned by a lot of different people. Now this one is their signature four ply. So we've got four plies of yarn and it does look like it has a really good twist. That's really good and important in a good sock yarn and 75% wool, 25% nylon. So it's not telling us the type of wool involved. So we can assume that it is a longer staple fiber that is more durable than something like a merino, which means we're gonna have good socks that are gonna stand the test of time. And price wise, you can see the price there. I'm not sure what the exchange rate is, but uh, that looks like a good price to me. Lots of beautiful colors. And I think they've got others as well. You can go through their website and see like they've got different types of yarn and probably other sock yarns that you can look at. Um, so let me see. Oh, also it is a hundred grams in this one skein of yarn. So that's definitely enough for a pair of socks. Unless, like I said before, you have very large feet or want to knit really long socks. One skein is definitely going to do for a pair of socks. And let's see what they have to say. Okay, it's a blend of different wools, 35% blue face Lester. So we are getting a good durable sock here. And the nylon for added strength. And it says hard wearing socks or even for shawls and other things as well. Oh, and it's even won an award for the best sock yarn at the British Knitting and Crochet Awards for several years running. So that's really interesting. Yeah, you can see right here, it does say it contains 35% blue face Lester. And care instructions, machine washable, but do not tumble dry. And that's a pretty good way to take care of your socks is I, I wash mine. Uh, sometimes they end up with my clothes and I just in the washing machine on a regular cycle and then I just pull them out and hang them up to dry. I try to keep them in a pile and when I've got enough for a load with some other delicates, I wash them on the hand wash setting on my washing machine and then hang them up to dry. It's a good way to keep your socks from wearing out. So this was a nice recommendation. Thank you for sharing this one with me. I'm going to have to look at some of my local yarn shops and see if I can find this one. Then we have Regia Yarns and they got a lot of different sock yarns. So here's their website and oh, these are some cute socks over here. So if we just go look at some yarns, let's try to find one. I've never used Regia before, but I've, I've seen it and heard about it from a lot of different knitters. And you can see they've got a lot of that uh, faux fair aisle. Now this is cotton color around the world. So I'm guessing they've got a cotton yarn. Okay, Regia sock yarns. Let's take a look at those. So they've got oh, quite a few here. You can see the list. They've got a lot of different sock yarns and they're saying four ply on some of them, which is always good to know. So let's just take a look at one. And we can see they've got these faux fair aisle, they've got these striping, they've got solid colors, lots of choices here. Okay, so this one says 75% virgin wool, 25% polyamide, so that's our, our elasticity that's added to our wool. And it's not telling us it's a merino or other type of wool, so we can assume it is that um, medium staple length wool that has a, a good amount of durability to it. And our yarn ball comes in 100 grams. So we've got that full 400 plus yards, 420 meters listed here. And we know it, got, it has lots of beautiful colors. And let's, I don't think we can get a close up look on that yarn and see, I'm guessing it says four ply. So it's probably got a nice twist to it as well can't really see it close up, but it does look like it's got a good twist in there. So this is definitely one to consider if you can find it at your local store. I'm not sure about price wise, but I'm pretty sure that this one is going to be more budget friendly as well. And another recommendation that came up was for Cascade and Cascade has a lot of wonderful affordable yarns, including great sock yarns like Cascade Heritage, which you can find at many local yarn shops. Now this is a super soft, durable yarn, machine washable and dryable. So it is a 75% superwash merino and a 25% nylon. So we've got the softer yarns here. So if you're not sure about soft yarns, you can always do other things um, 
to make sure they're going to be durable. But if you're fine with Merino, then this is one to check out. And it comes in 100 gram skein, so 437 yards or 400 meters. So you've got that full 100 grams to play with here. And colors, it's got lots of great color choices. Now it looks like all solid colors, so if you're looking for self-striping or some of those patterned yarns, then you're not going to find them here, it doesn't look like. But they've got lots and lots of different colors. So this is another really good choice. And Cascade is one of those classic yarns that you can find generally very affordable as well. Now I can't seem to get a close-up of the image, so I'm not sure about like the ply count or the twist, but it is labeled as a sock yarn, so I would assume that it's going to be at least three plies and it should have a fairly good twist. Now Barocco is also one of those companies that has lots of great affordable choices and they also have a sock yarn, the Barocco Comfort Sock. Now this one is a 50-50 blend of acrylic and nylon. So another great choice if you want to avoid wool for some reason, then this would be one to check out that you can find at a local yarn shop and it's machine washable and dryable as well. Let me see here. It comes in a 100 gram skein, uh, 447 yards. And I can't really see a close up image of it, but it does look like it's a good plied yarn. Lots of colors. Oh, they've got some striping ones as well. So lots of great choices here for non-wool yarns. Oh, there we go. Lots of stripes and pa self-patterning yarns. So this is a great choice to check out. And I am guessing it's gonna be like a four, three or four plies and a nice twist to it as well. So that's another good yarn shop choice. Then we have drops. I'm not quite sure if you can find this one at local yarn shops or if you can just find it online, but I'm, I stuck it here just in case because I'm not sure if it's available at local yarn shops, but it's another great affordable choice. And the Drops Fable is their Superwash sock yarn for sock knitting. So this one says it is 75% wool, 25% polyamide. So we've got that nylon in there and we also have we're not sure the kind of wool, so we can assume it's a more sturdy fiber. And it looks like it's got a good twist and ply if you look at the, the yarn right there. And this one is in 50 gram skein, so you'll probably need two for a regular pair of socks, but the prices are really great. 260 Canadian is really good. And they have lots of great colors. I love these like self-patterning ones that sort of like faux fair isle. Lots of fun and oh, some solid colors as well. Okay, it does, it says it's a four stranded yarn. So we've got four plies here and it does look like it's a good twist. If you look at some of these solid colors, you can see the twist. They are machine wash, dry flat. So it's got care instructions as well. Drops is a great choice for affordable yarns. Now another recommendations was opal yarns and I couldn't find a website specifically like for the manufacturer, but I know that you can find it at different places, probably online as well. I found it at Yarn Canada. So we can take a look here. You can see it's got lots of different self-striping and patterning colors. Um, so let's just grab one to take a look at and see. So this is, um, Opal, super fine yarn, so it is a sock yarn. Their put up is 100 gram skeins, 465 yards. And this one is 75% wool, 25% nylon. So because it's not telling us the type of wool, we can assume that it's more hard wearing wool. And it does look like it's got a good twist and a number of plies. So we're looking at three or four plies here. Lots of great color choices. So Opal is a great yarn to consider if you can find it at your local yarn shop. And then another viewer recommended Plymouth Yarns and their Shades of Sockata. I'm not sure how to say that, S-O-C-K-O-T-T-A. But anyway, I'll have a link for it here so you can check it out as well. Um, and it's got lots of these really sort of like marl style yarns, which are really nice. Now this one is 45% cotton, 40% wool, 15% nylon. 
So a really great blend of yarns here. And it's, of course, it's not telling us the type of wool, so we can assume that it's more hard wearing. It does say it's nice for durable projects. So it has three plies and it looks like it's got a good, nice twist. So that would definitely be good for sock knitting. So it's uh, 414 yards in one ball. So that's going to be a hundred gram skein. Lots of great color choices there as well. It's a really good one to check out if you can find it at your local yarn shop. So there you have it, sock yarn recommendations from other knitters who knit socks. Now there's more to know about knitting socks. We've talked a bit about that in this as well, talking about different fiber, the twist and the ply, lots of things we could discuss about making good socks that will be durable depending on the sock yarn that you choose. And I explore that topic in a recent knit and chat and you can check that out right here where we'll talk about all of those different things you can do to make sure that your socks will be more durable. So click right there and I'll see you in the next video.